Hi, my name is Sandy Carter and I'm IBM's Vice President for Social Business Evangelism and welcome to our Social Business Coffee Break. I'm really excited because we're in the midst of a series on the top six use cases or business patterns for number one return on investment in social business. And I'm sure all of us are interested in that because that's the number one question we get. Today we're looking at the use case of mergers and acquisitions. And you may be thinking, acquisitions with social? What's going on with that? Well, if you think about it, the challenge exists because 50 to 70% of acquisitions actually fail. Uh, they're not successful in several uh, attributes that really contribute from a people perspective. So, you know, people staying with a company, um, helping you to cut costs and identifying those areas, not being separate from the culture, fitting into the culture so you're not dealing with political issues. And then, of course, the ever-trending revenue, how you get that higher revenue, all of those involve your people. So applying social into an acquisition strategy helps to reduce the failure rate. It helps you to get people into the culture faster, reduces that um, you know, fleeing of people, but it also increases your employee retention because people now feel part of a bigger community. IBM itself uses and leverages social in its M&A activity. In fact, we've done about 108 software acquisitions since 1995 with a great success rate. We've recently acquired a company called Connexa, and the reason I bring that up is that they brought with them to our portfolio something called the Connexa Cultural Assessment for Acquisitions. So as someone's doing an acquisition, we look, they look at what is the fit. In fact, we applied it to IBM before we brought them on board. So we're gonna see today how social helps you to speed the time to value of an acquisition, increase the effectiveness of your program and the way you manage it, accelerate the desired culture, and to help you be more successful in this area. I'm gonna use IBM as an example since we are viewed as one of the top companies in the world for successfully integrating acquisitions into a business. So the first thing you're looking at here is a little tool we apply in our IBM uh, platform, and it's called Atlas. But what it does is, as you're seeing this picture of the communities, you're seeing some separation, right? Two communities aren't touching with each other. They're not, um, they're not working together. And that can help you identify with an acquisition that comes on board. You know, where are the isolated group of people? How can you bring them in? How can you get them in, you know, really into the culture that you have? This next picture is something that IBM uses, and this is a community. Uh, we match up mentors for new acquisitions. We share successes. We give them contacts, and we recommend people that they should connect with, making them feel part of the program. Now, here's another great example. Um, we're showing here how you know, we welcome them in. This is a video blog. As we welcome in a new acquisition, we make them feel warm and welcome, part of the culture, but we do it socially. So the video blog's there, they can comment on it, they can ask questions, and they can get really involved um, in our culture. It really brings together a community in the way that has never been done, you know, in the past. So it's a very powerful way to engage on vision and culture. Now, if you think about this, I think that these three successes are based on repeatable patterns. First, maintaining a focus on sales after the merger and how you really make sure that you've got everybody selling, not distracted by what's going on. Doing that through a community-based system. You know, um, after someone starts, making sure that he's sharing his status so that everybody knows what's happening. He can see updates from one of his clients. He can see new leads. He can integrate in his CRM system. So we can really make sure that this is feeling part of the community. This whole area of mergers and acquisitions, social brings such um, a breath of fresh air. It's helped and worked with IBM as well as other companies. It brings a strong return on investment. So if you're facing this today, we'd love to be able to help you out. My name is Sandy Carter, and this has been our Social Business Coffee Break.